insufficient power. AGV shutting down. Your only hope is a cache of batteries. They were hidden by rebels in an abandoned basement. Recover the cache and recharge the suit. Hello everyone and welcome back once again to Gary's Mod. And I don't think I was supposed to have spawned with the fizz gun. Yeah, I don't think I'm supposed to have any of this. The workshop page also says not to play with a flashlight. Tell you what, I'm gonna go ahead and spawn the no weapon weapon. And we'll go ahead like that's not a thing. Now the map I'm gonna be trying out today is Wendigo HVT. Which warns that this map is not for people with a weak heart, so hopefully this will be worthy of some scares. I could have sworn I just heard something on the left. This map, by the way, was suggested to me by a user on the community Discord, which you should totally check out if you're a fan of all things creepy and comfy. Now what do I do? It told me that at some point the map would provide me with a crowbar... But to forgo the use of flashlights or any kind of, uh, or any kind of weapons. Okay, well, I was able to move that one board, but it doesn't seem to want me to touch the rest, so I guess I'll just have a look around instead. Uh, a very atmospheric map. Oddly enough, in the beginning there, there's a whole lot of implied story. It said that my suit, so I am canonically wearing an HEV suit, is out of charge. And that I need to find some batteries that were stolen by a rebel group? Or maybe the rebels aren't supposed to be my enemies. Maybe they just have the charge. Maybe they just have the batteries. And this takes place in the Half-Life 2 universe. In fact, maybe I'm even playing as Gordon Freeman. Now this all sounds pretty par for the course, but... And the map's title, Wendigo, has me very wary of what's lurking in these woods. Uh, first time I've seen a motion light represented in a game before. Come to think of it, why isn't that something that's more common? I can't walk down a block at night without triggering everybody's driveway to light up, so why don't we see these more often in games? I can't open this door either. Now, it's said that the batteries were in the basement of a place nearby. Am I left open-ended to just get to wherever I'm going as I see fit? Did you see that? Now, there was a shadow in there, which I suppose could be just interpreted as that beam, but... I played enough Midgard recently to think that maybe I saw some glowing eyes in there as well. Hmm. It was so quick, I honestly could be wrong about that. Oh, it is so dark in here. I'm respecting the workshop uploader's uh, advice not to use the flashlight, but boy, is it tempting. These spaces are very dark, but also props to the map creator for the very moody lighting that's... I just heard, like, a tap on glass. <laughs> Something's not right here. Ah, this must be where I'm meant to go, because that looks like a basement. Let me have a quick look around up here first, before I get going. Wait. That's blood. That's blood on the ground. Okay, I have a crowbar now. I am now allowed to use the crowbar. And that's a lever that will presumably kill the 
makeshift power that's been set up, these wires just crisscross the entire place. Very good attention to detail, making it seem like this is something that's been set up kind of in a hurry, and... Okay, so I found the basement. I probably have to open... Oh, I see. I probably have to pull that lever in order to open that gate. Those sounded like footsteps. Above me. Now, I swear, something that is very, very important in horror is sound, obviously. And the reason for that is because sight is a confirmation, while sound... Well, that leaves a lot more to the imagination, doesn't it? And something that I love about what they just did was how... It was kind of mixed in with creaks of the house settling. And in that way, it was very ambiguous if I even heard anything at all. For example, why did it play that sound? That's not a sound you play when there's not a Wendigo about to chew me to death. Now another element that's pointed out by the workshop page is the fact that I was supposed to meet some rebels here, but where have they all gone? So the character that I'm playing as would no doubt have an anxiety building in their mind by now. Why are you still not opening? What did flipping that switch actually do? Maybe there's a couple more switches I have to pull? Maybe each one will turn on a different red light. Time to investigate the Shadow House. Yeah, there's another lever. Creepy music, now very conspicuously present. And gone just as quickly as it arrived. I hope I'm not missing scares when I hear those sound cues. I have to say, the slow burn is very much appreciated. We're a few minutes into this map now, and so far, the only scares we've really had are that vague shadow that I could very easily have missed. And I'm, to be honest, not even sure if that was an intentional scare. And the creeping anxiety of having to repeatedly traverse this deserted house that was apparently supposed to be full of allies. Oh well, very disconcerting, but not necessarily out of out of place sounds play around me. That's pad. That's a padlock and some blood. Oh, nothing more here. So where would that third switch be? so I can break this door down for easier access now that I have the crowbar. Where am I looking? So we have the one cable that... So we have the one in here. And two cables that lead upstairs. So maybe the final one is also in this house? Have I missed something obvious? I just realized that's a huge smear of blood across that other rooftop. 
Okay, something bad definitely happened to the occupiers of this cabin. I gotta find that switch as quickly as I can. Listen to the sounds of the wind and the gentle waves lapping against the shore. Something that I'm really liking about this so far is the gentle, cool night juxtaposed by the absolutely horrific scene that actually isn't even really here. It's something that you'll only notice should you happen to look at the details. This could very easily be a calm, cozy painting. And it's only when you look closer that you start to see the true details. Ah, I bet the last switch is down there. Ow. Ah, yes, where we came from. But now, we can break these boards down and get through. Out of my way. The one from before is tripping me up. This feels like a detour and a half. Looks to be some kind of old mine. Huh. I don't really want to linger too long staring down that dark passageway. I hate looking through narrow windows like that. It makes me feel something's gonna come running out of the darkness towards me. That sounds like radio static. The cable runs here. Oh, don't make me get closer. Don't make me get closer to that barred door. I can't see much. Alright, that leads to the other side of this door. What is that? Something, something's moving back. Oh. It's these objects suspended from ropes just swaying in. I want to say the breeze, but given what we just heard, I'm not entirely confident in that. Something's down here with me, I think. It's deliberately locked this area behind the need for a crowbar. I needed it to break in. So what's down here with me? Something that I'm gonna have to fight? I can only hope not. I'm afraid it wants me to go even deeper. Oh, it is so dark. <laughs> I didn't even- there's something there! There's something in there. And it looks like it has the head of a goat. And it's gone. That's what I thought. The goat man is no match for my crowbar. No, stop that. You're breaking immersion, game. I'm not supposed to have a tool gun that can do anything. Flare. I wonder if this is going to be one of those times where the flare lasts forever, or if it's going to burn out after a few seconds. Where am I? Where am I? All I can do is run towards those lights. 
Were they lights, or were they eyes? Glowing eyes that pierce through the darkness. I don't like being here. Something's messing with me. <laughs> Something's screwing with my perspective. And it's like this whole place used to be a rebel base. Oh, I'm gonna have to walk through all of that. Now, I don't know about you, but personally, I'd be pretty reluctant to walk through this with all these cables running about. I don't like how it's given me this long corridor filled to my ankles with water, lit only by one or two bulbs hanging overhead, and it's now gone completely silent, save for the sound of the splashes I make, giving me a dread that one of these times I'll hear a second set of splashes approaching from behind. There's switch number three. I feel like I shouldn't pull that switch while standing knee-deep in water. That doesn't seem very smart. So Horror 101, let's take a little refresher. What's just happened is... I've... I turned around thinking maybe it would be starting whether I turn or not, but what's just happened is we've walked down a long, dark corridor and accomplished an objective, also known as a trigger. So something's going to happen on the way back, more or less guaranteed. What's it going to be? Was that breath from me or from the game? stack these barrels. I swear I have the ability to actually influence the outcome of games. Nothing ever happens to me when I call it in advance. Ever. Unless I actually missed it and that's what that sound cue was. But how am I getting out of here? Oh, there's a ladder right there. <laughs> I was doing a whole lot of unnecessary acrobatics. Dark. Dark as dark can be. I haven't actually finished exploring everywhere yet. Apparently I have. Never mind. Let's... <laughs> okay, now... That was only on the screen for like a frame, but that looked like a figure with a goat's head and glowing eyes staring through a window frame. Is that an indicator of things to come when I return to that house? Now, given the subtlety of the visual things that we've seen so far, I have a feeling this video is going to be absolutely full of things that I don't spot, but you do. You guys have eagle eyes, and I think this is going to be a prime video for that type of thing. <laughs> Watch this video get copyright striked because I said prime video. Now that I did not miss. The cliffside was momentarily alive with numerous figures. Does the Wendigo influence my perception, or are there more than one? <laughs> Stop doing that, please. It's getting a little bit old now. All three lights are on. We should be able to call the elevator. 
say call the elevator, I really mean open whatever this is. I was just kind of under the assumption that it was an elevator without ever really looking too hard. Okay, we've got a door down there on the left. What's on our right? Uh, more staircases. A lot of different ways for us to go. This is quite a large and involved basement. Uh, those are the batteries! And it could be my paranoia over the momentary... over the momentary appearances of our friend, but... I could have sworn that just for a few frames I saw something standing in the dark corner of that jail cell. More blood, meaning... Whatever tore through here didn't care for that locked door. Power restored! And yet somehow I don't feel any safer. It sounds like something might have entered above us. Oh, I don't trust these dark corners. I don't trust them not to contain something evil. It seems what used to be dark is now light, and what used to be light is now dark. And it definitely sounds like there's something moving up there. I'm gonna regret this. But I'm gonna pull the power. Never mind, I can't. That was supposed to be like a big dramatic moment where I do the thing I really don't want to do, and then chaos begins overtaking me, but that's not what happened. So dark. No. No, the door's closed behind me. So, oh, it's pitch black in here now. What do I do then? What can I do? That wasn't like that before. That most certainly was not like that before. So unplugging that is what caused the gate to close, meaning that it was pulled between when I left there and when I arrived at the gate. Which means- There's something in here with me! What's happening? Hi. Are you the monster from Midgard? Great, I've been transported to Bizarro World. This is the last thing I needed. I mean, on my list of, like, top three things I needed, it's, like, an ice cream sandwich, uh, I guess some kind of heart medication, and Bizarro World is number three. Now this is something I've not seen before, but it's a very novel concept. Having an upside-down world that's flooded. Meaning that the water is, in some way, clinging to the ceiling. That's pretty interesting. Hello? Oh, your eyes are, like, rolled up in your head. A oh, very interesting use of the upside-down world medium. It's something that's been done to death, but it's definitely injecting a lot of original ideas. Okay, where am I going? I'm hearing some very strange sounds while I'm underwater. The physics aren't doing the... The physics aren't doing what you'd expect of them. Oh, I'm gonna drown very soon. I gotta get some air. I gotta go back and get some air. Where do I go? Actually, come to think of it, do I need air? Because it feels like I was down there for a very long time. 
Alright, back down we go. Uh, hello, skeleton. <laughs> I don't know why, I'm just not... Skeletons have just completely gained a reputation as something goofy now and not scary. One of these days I'm gonna make something, a movie or something like that, where skeletons are unironically scary. Alright, I'm having a really difficult time finding my way around here. Okay, I'm just getting a little bit annoyed now. Not being able to figure out where it is I'm going. Wait, through here maybe? Yeah, that looks like it leads outside. I came all the way back up and through the house. And just like that, I'm back outside. I feel like I was maybe supposed to see something there. Well, besides the huge blood streak on the ground. Hello? Is that the end? So that was Wendigo, and what a refreshing treat. It was a really slow burn that never really escalated to the point where it ruined its subtlety. I really like the idea of having this seemingly calm and serene night that has, like, another layer of horror to it if only you go to investigate. Like, if I had been someone just passing through this area and didn't have to stick around and go down into the basement, I would have missed the horrifying scene that took place here only a short time before I arrived. The design of the monster was really, really cool, and I liked how we only ever caught glimpses of it around. It's also really interesting to me that the map creator has chosen to set this seemingly within the Half-Life universe, and yet we're not messing around with the Combine or anything like that. This would be like a side diversion for Gordon Freeman, running out of charge on his suit and having to go visit these rebels to collect some battery, and just happening to cross the path of some creature of folklore. I really love that premise. You know you're supposed to be coming here to meet some rebels, and if you actually put yourself into that role, you'll get here and ask yourself, where is everyone? And the thing is, they could have had like a bunch of bodies all strewn about or all kinds of things, but there's not. There's not this whole gruesome aftermath for us to find, it's just realizing that there's nobody here when there should be. And just little things like this, just signs of a struggle. I love that. And look, something like this, that's probably the most gore we'd see on this map, and you'll only see it should you happen to look through this window. Ah, oh, so good. Such a good subtle map, and I wish it had gone on for longer, but maybe it's for the best that it didn't. That it doesn't run out of things to do and overstay its welcome. But anyway, if you want to try this map out for yourself, I will provide the link in the description. If you want to suggest any other videos you'd like me to make, the best place to do that is at the Discord, which I will also link in the description. There we have an awesome community who loves to discuss all things creepy and comfy. And as always, I will see you in the next one.